All right. Hey, YouTube. What's up? Welcome back to another episode of Jazzy Time with your host, Bailey. How's it going, everybody? I am going to be showing you guys something super fun. And this is all gel with the exception of some little rhinestones and some tinsel um, and also some iridescent paper. Um, I'm going to be attempting a new series called 3D Thursdays. And this little guy here is going to start us off. So I'm going to show you guys how to make this 3D butterfly using all gel. Cause I've seen stuff like this done with acrylic, but I've never seen it done with gel and I wanted to try it. So I'm going to show you guys. All right, so I am going to show you what I have used and then we will get to it. All right, so bear with me here, bear with me. So I have, for the antenna, I have this little tinsel and I'm gonna steal, I'm gonna go blue this time. I don't know why, but uh, I feel like going like blue or perhaps yellow, but, um, so tinsel for the antenna. Um, something to put your stones in if you're not the greatest with your stones. Uh, I'm going to be pulling them down. <laughs> or no, let's we'll do a pink one. We'll go with pink one. Uh, Oh. So I have similar in color, a teardrop shape and round rhinestones. Something to pick up those rhinestones with. I'm going to just use my wax pen instead of my katana. You're going to need a nail form backing because the shiny and not so shiny side are going to play a part in this. You're going to need tape or something to Hold this down and you're going to need a tile or something flat because we are going to be utilizing this. Uh, to prop up your wings, I have an old uh, arbor band and I have actually squashed the arbor band and this is going to help us set our wings. I have, where did it go? Oh my gosh, I think it fell on the floor. Where are you? Where are you? Pause for one second. Ah, I found it. So I have a little piece of, as you can see, I've already used this one for my other one, um, a piece of iridescent or unicorn paper, as some people call it. Um, a Sharpie, fairly light in color. I'm going to use a yellow one. You want to make sure that you can see it. Um, I have my cutting board. I'm gonna use this and a craft knife or you can also use scissors I am choosing to use a scalpel craft knife all right let's get to it so first you want to pan out how big you want your butterfly so my first one here as you can see it was pretty big so I'm going to attempt to go a little smaller and you can do the wings however you like. So this piece of paper is going to go inside the wings and create our color. So I don't know if that can be seen. I'm actually going a little bigger just so that I can show you guys nicely. So now with my scalpel tool, I'm going to cut right down the center of those wings and I'm going to cut out my paper. Please don't cut your fingers off. And I'm going to try and keep each side whole. 
the more whole you can keep this, the faster it goes. It I literally it took me 20 minutes to make one of these for myself. I did have this little wing on my own nails, as you guys can see from the thumbnail, for a good 10 minutes or so. But I need to be practical as I do have my own business. So. So if they do come apart like so, this is okay. Trying to keep them whole is pretty tough. So there is one side of the wing. And as you can see, that yellow marker doesn't quite show up. Ooh, try not to breathe because they fly away. So here's the other half of my wing, top half. This part's the tedious part. Like I said, I choose to use a craft knife but you can definitely use scissors. It'll probably be faster. Oh my gosh, I just heard something in my living room. It's probably my cat. So there we go. So now we have our little pieces for our wings. Just like so. So I'm going to put these in a safe spot so that they don't blow away on me. If I can pick them up. Tweezers also might help if you have long nails like mine. So I'm gonna put these in this little dish and set it aside so that I don't lose them. Okay. So now I'm going to, oops, sorry. So my cutting board, I'm gonna flip it over so I can't see any marks. And on the non-shiny side, so there's a shiny side and non-shiny on um, nail form backings. And you can definitely use a darker color Sharpie for this part because this is going to be our template. So we want to rough out the size of our wings, just like that but I'm gonna now draw over top of this so that I know my paper is going to fit inside. And the smaller you can make these, the better, but these are like kind of just for show. So that's gonna be my template. Now I'm gonna take my tile. I'm gonna snip this a little smaller so that I can kind of have it in the middle. So like that, so now I want that drawing side down and you can use tape. I'm gonna use some shims to secure this to my tile. Your tile's gonna come in handy when it comes to putting this in and out of the light. So we have that. Okay. Rid of all my extra garbage. All right, where are you? Sheila! There you are, okay. So I have Sheila and I'm going to be using a thin consistency and also a thick consistency builder gel. I'm going to be using infatuation and redemption for this. So first things first. I'm going into my infatuation and I am going to trace. The outline of my butterfly. It's okay if it's blobby at this point because this is just going to be like a border. And you don't want these to connect in the middle. You do want to leave a gap. So you could definitely do the wings like spaced out.
Okay, so once you're happy with that, you want to flash cure for a good 10 seconds or so. So those are going to act like walls and it's going to keep our wing shape the way we want it. Just waiting and waiting and flashing and flashing and waiting and flashing. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay. So now I'm going to take infatuation again. And now I'm going to take bigger portions and I'm going to fill in my wing. You don't want to go too, too thick. You want to keep it thin. We're not doing too much detail yet. I just want to get the paper inside first. So now that I've got that, I'm going to pick my paper up and place it down. So this is going to become the coloring inside these wings. It's okay if they overlap or whatnot. Ooh, I put that one on upside down. Come here, little paper. Come here, little paper. That upside down and get rid of that hair hair okay so now I'm going to cure that for about oh we'll say 30 seconds and I'll be right back okay so that is cured and held in place so now I'm going to switch to my thicker builder gel and I'm still using Sheila so first I want to encapsulate these wings going right over top of the paper. It is a little tedious, but the end result is totally worth it. Okay, so now I've got it all encapsulated. Now I'm going to add my little details on the ends of my wings. So I'm kind of adding like you know, those little flowy teardrop thingies that are on the ends. And I'm going to make the tip of the wing a little more pointy. Just kind of perfecting your shape of your wings before we go for that final cure. Because we're not going to be doing any filing on these. So the more perfect you can get it, the better. So I'm happy with that. So I'm going to cure this for 120 seconds in a UV lamp. I'm gonna fix that just a little bit. 120 seconds in a UV lamp and I will be right back. 
Okay, so this is fully cured. I am now going to give this a wipe with a lint-free pad and some cleanser. So I'm going to use my black and my white for my candy gel paint and a very, very fine art brush. And now I'm going to add the detail to the butterfly, but I'm going to speed this bit up a bit for you. Okay guys, so I'm just waiting for it to cure. So the next part I'm also gonna fast forward through, I'm just going to um, tack free top coat the top and underside of the wings and I'm gonna use tweezers to pick them up so that I can do that. And yeah, then we'll get to the, the next step of building the butterfly. Right, so we are all tacky free here and I do have a little bit of like shards here so I'm just going to use my sparrow scissors and just snip those off just inspecting all right so still using our template here and now this is where the arbor band is going to come in so I'm going to do, I found this easier to do one wing at a time because both wings would not stay in place. So using the thick builder gel and the template, I'm going to lay down almost like a rectangle. This is gonna be the, the base for our wings and the body. Just like that. And then using the arbor band to prop up my wing, however open or close you want it, I'm going to get a little closer and leave it resting like that. And this is where the tile comes in handy. Lift it up, put it in the light very slowly set it down very gently so that the arbor band doesn't roll anywhere though we did squish it it can still move 
And now I'm going to flash it for like 30 seconds. I'm just watching it in the lamp right now. So we can let's see. Mm, no, it's not going to work. <laughs> I was going to try and bend the, the tripod a little bit. Just wanting that to kind of flash and stay in place. Check out my other wing while I'm waiting. Got a little, little straggler right there. Little straggler right there. And you can see how that iridescent paper shows through and you get that beautiful clear butterfly wing that still has that beautiful shimmer in it. So I'm going to shut the lamp off, pull that out. Move all this stuff out of the way here. If I move the arbor band, she stays in place. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put a fresh bead. Uh, the redemption, the builder gel. So the, the it's like a medium consistency builder gel. There. Now, when you put this wing on, you do want to leave a little bit of a space because we do have to put that body on there too. So, I'm going to line it up as best you can. I'm going to get that guy right in the builder gel here. Try not to line it up. Get the wings at the same angle. And this is where I found that it was very difficult to do two at once because they continued to knock each other and whatnot. So I'm going to leave that like that. I'm going to get that in the lamp very, very slowly, gingerly. Get in there. So I'm going to pause when that's set and I'll be right back actually while I'm waiting. So it's a fairly large um, butterfly. So I'm going to get my gems out and ready. So I'm actually probably going to need bigger gem, but no, the, the smaller and more dainty the body on a butterfly I find is the better. So I'm just utilizing my tile. That might be too many, but that's okay. I can always put them back. So I like the teardrop ones because they give you that thorax look like so. I'm probably only going to need four. I might exchange this for this big one. So there we go. Okay, so my light is out. So I have my gems ready. And now I'm going to dig through this tinsel. And this is like rainbow tinsel. So I have this pink thread of tinsel. I'm going to do my best here using my sparrow scissors and I'm going to snip it in half. And these are going to become my antenna for my butterfly. So now I'm going to move this tile over here. Ah, there goes my arbor band, but that's okay because those wings are in place. Perfect. Okay, so once again, just a little more builder gel, we're almost done. So I'm going to, oops, sorry, go focus, focus. There we go, I'm gonna start where the, I want the head to be. Go right down the center. And I'm also going to go a little bit off, just like so. Okay. So now I'm going to grab my wax pen and I'm going
going to lay in my antenna so that they're even and I'm going to push a little bit so that they go into the builder gel and then I'm going to take my gems and I'm going to push those in over top it looks like I might need a little more for the head of the butterfly This is why it's important to leave that space. Just like that. So now I'm going to cure my butterfly in place. And I will see you all in just a few moments. All that's left to do is just pick it off the backing paper, just like so. So this is much larger than the other one I did, but that's okay. And because I didn't want to waste my other one, so I am just going to use some builder gel and secure it to this nail swatch so I can put it up on the wall. I'm gonna give just a good helping here. I'm gonna try and fit my smaller one on there with it also. Just like that. And I might be able to, I'm gonna just test it and see if I can get a second one on there. Yes, I can. So I'm gonna get this little guy. I just didn't want it to go to waste, so I'm gonna put them both together. There we go. Little flutterbys, push them together there. So I'm just gonna cure them in place and I'll see you in just a few. All right, so those guys, they're stuck in place. I can grab these and wiggle and they're good to go. So I hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial as much as I loved doing it for you. Like I said, I'm gonna try and get like a 3D Thursday series going because I really enjoy doing this kind of stuff and I really enjoy the challenge that it brings, especially trying to do it with gel. Whereas you can do a ton of things with acrylic, but gel is a great challenge. So I really love this. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you recreate this, please tag me or whatever. Um, yes, click comment, like, subscribe and share with the universe. Keep coming back, YouTube family. You know I love you. Follow me on Instagram, bc underscore jazzy underscore time. And if you'd like to follow my business page, Beautiful Nails by Design, B -E -E -U -T -I -F -U -L, not B -E -A. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get to some editing because I'm running out of room on my phone so I can get to some more tutorials for you guys. So anywho, I hope you guys all stay tuned and stay jazzy.